Yeah. Even Stevens. That was only one part of the game. Now we're going to play you a clip from Kim Possible, and you have to see if you can finish the line. Oh, wow. In Kim Possible's voice, maybe? First things first, welcome, Christy, and thank you so much for being here. I'm so happy to be here. I've been wanting to do this show forever, and it just brings me great joy. Today, we are going to be putting you through the Impossible Career Challenge. Ooh, OK. So this will be a test of memory to see how well you Ooh. remember your own projects. We'll okay. be showing you a one-second clip of each of these, and then you'll have to guess what it's from based on just that. OK. I'm going to get every single one right, because I have a memory for these kinds of things. But I am a mom now, and I get no sleep, so I'm a 50-50. Can you guess what project that you were in from just one second? Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Impossible. It's the um, the Swamp Monster episode, uh, Camp Wanna Weep. It was Kim and the, and the cheerleading team go on the bus to go to like an away game, and Ron is the mascot. Um, and he, they break down, the, the bus breaks down. That was only one part of the game. Now we're going to play you a clip from Kim Possible, and you have to see if you can finish the line. Oh, wow. In Kim Possible's voice, maybe? KP! Oh, I thought you were down for the count! Why couldn't I see that he was a fake? Yeah, don't get much faker than a synthodrome. You oh, you kissed a synthodrome! You kissed a synthodrome. Something. I don't remember this one, obviously. KP! Oh, I thought you were down for the count! Why couldn't I see that he was a fake? Yeah, don't get much faker than a synthodrome. You oh, you kissed a synthodrome! I never kissed him. Oh, right. But I wanted to. Oh, okay, too right. Much info. Yep. Yep. That's, that's what I said. So that was when we did that movie, and she ends up. I think, you know, with Ron. I just love Kim and Ron's relationship. Even when they're like tied up and stuff, he just is always making her laugh. Yeah. Even Stevens. <laughs> How many times do you think you've seen that intro play? A lot. It feels finally like Even Stevens' throwback to me. It's weird. Kim Possible is more like a continuation. Even Stevens would require like, I don't know if you want to call it like a reboot or a sequel or like something. Like it would need to be just a different looking show. Let's see if you can finish this line from the show. What? Uh, oh, I can't wait to see what Ren has got for me. That's what she says. But you have a line there that you interject for a second. Do you remember what that is? What? This is complicated. Experience. How did I forget that? Here is this. Ren. Ah. Right now, Tawny. What is it? I'm getting that feeling again. Just wait a second, okay? I'll be right down, Spider. All right, I think you might have had it, but let's take a listen. Ren. Not now, Tawny. What is it? I'm getting that feeling again. Just wait a second, okay? Spider, I can't come out tonight. Ah, oh, man. Spider. He's like 40. <laughs> a motorcycle. I'm like 12. Well, I'm going to give you the points on that one. You remembered ex like what was happening right after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I remembered that. I remembered being like so, so happy that they I got to be completely opposite to my character, that like Ren got to be wild. Oh man, did I love that. When we did the pilot, it was Shia Show. It was called Spivey's Kid Brother. That was the original title of the, of the show. And it was way more Shia focused. They found that they needed to have like a a girl element because a lot of a lot of young girls watch Disney Channel. So Ren kind of became this like split 50-50 thing. I think it was a, a really well executed uh, show in terms of writing. Let's see if you can guess what this is. We're gonna stump you a little bit, I think, on this one. Really? You think? Yeah, Cadet Kelly. Gotcha, gotcha. Cadet Kelly, what was your experience like working on that? I had been doing Even Stevens. So when they were like, hey, you're going to go do a movie. You're going to be this character. You're going to work with Hilary Duff. I was like, whoa, this is a great opportunity. So I was really excited to go up to Canada. I absolutely loved being on location for the first time. We got to do boot camp for like a month before in preparation. Fast forward many years later, I married a Marine. And I get to talk to him about boot camp, his boot camp experience, a lot. All right. Well, we've also got a line from the movie. Okay. For Stone and Cadet Kelly. We have a lot of ground to make up because of you. Competition. 
<laughs> That's the line. I already know. All right, let's see. We if have you're a lot right. of ground to make up because of you. And Cadet Kelly Collins. Eddie. In unarmed competition. We have a lot of ground to make up because of you. Where's my mic? I'm gonna drop it. I think people um, would l would also love to see some sort of a reboot or something on that. All right, what is this from? Oh, that's that looks like it's um, uh, Kingdom Hearts. If that's not Kingdom Hearts or Yuffie, Final Fantasy. Well, that's what I was. That but that's what I. But wait, but wait. That's what I meant. Kingdom Hearts, I know, is not the same as Final Fantasy. They repurposed a lot of the lines. I only went in once to record. All right. Let's see if you can remember this line. So this is okay. from Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. Okay. Huh? Kadash is a remnant of Sephiroth. Think of him as a sort of larval form. No, no way. Huh? Sounds Kadash like me. Kadash is a remnant of Sephiroth. Think of him as a sort of larval form. Larva? You mean he's an insect? Lassa. That's me. That's me for show. Yuffie uh, was such an important character, obviously. And I think it's fantastic when people bring me their art and the reimaginings that are arts or illustrations of her. And from what I'm told, Final Fantasy VII is like the best video game ever made. Yeah. So for me to have been actually a part of that, that's huge. Can you guess what this is from just one second? Welcome to Booty Beat. Oh yeah, it's my music. I played Satan. I played myself slash Satan. Thanks, Benny. <laughs> you are correct. This was FB's web series, My Music. Uh, what do you remember about doing that sheet? Oh man, it was so much fun. I remember that My Music had gotten an award from YouTube to to do like the they get, they were given the budget to do it before YouTube Red before all of that stuff was happening FBE was like totally on the cutting edge Hey you know what would make this show even better if Intern 2 joined us <gasps> Yeah Come on Intern 2 I'm fine you guys look like you got this handled Intern 2 says we got it handled <laughs> I don't remember. Oh God, what did I say? Come on, Intern 2! I'm fine. You guys look like you got this handled. Intern 2 says we got it handled. He just doesn't know how much fun it is. Come on, let's dress him up. <laughs> there you go. Doing the devil's work. It was more of a job for me. And then once I got in there, I was really taken by the sense of family and professionalism that a digital show could have. Even though I didn't get it then, I kept my ears open, and my husband and I ended up creating a production company, and now we found our way into our own YouTube channel, and we are just having such a great time. That show in general, I think, broke the mold for YouTube, and I think it set up FBE to be like these like content makers, these king king makers. I love them. They're, I've always been a huge fan of them. I think, and they're really nice people. One second, let's see if you can guess this. This is my favorite hey, part. Hey, it's my show! It's Christie's Kitchen Throwback! Thanks, guys. Let's see if you remember what you said or sang here. <laughs> you look at me so... Uh, cheesy? I don't remember. I don't remember my own enchilada song! And we love this episode. It's so funny. In the oven. <laughs> that was all improv right there. There was no practice. If you can believe it, we did not write those words beforehand. It's so fun to have these actors on that are like, you know what, I'm gonna go on that show and I'm gonna have a conversation and it's gonna be fun. YouTube is really just synonymous with fans. It's really synonymous with support and community and thinking outside the box, breaking that wall down. Um, between fan and creator. I'm like so happy to be on YouTube now. So you got about half the answers right in the end. Okay, I'll take that. I was pretty pleased with my, my body of work. I can't, I can honestly say that like, I just love that I have been blessed with doing a lot of different kinds of stuff. It's really kind of a nice feeling to look back and see all these different things that I've done. Hey guys, what's up? It's Christy Carlson Romano, voice of Kim Possible, even Stevens. What I want you to do is go subscribe to my channel. I love FBE, I loved being in this React video, but you also should check out my videos. Please, Christy Carlson Romano, uh, subscribe.
Links are in the description.